okay, this video, I'm going to compare the, the similarities and the differences between the MS200 and the Stringway ML100 and ML120. Now, the only difference between the ML120 and ML100 is ML100 is a tabletop model as seen here, and ML120 has a stand, just like this. You can also buy the ML100 with a separate stand and you can mount the ML100 on a stand and it'll be the exact same functionality as the ML120 but it gives you the option of taking it off the stand, putting it on the table and taking it off the table and putting it on the stand. Whereas the ML120 does not come with these uh, table legs that allows you to put it on the table. So the ML120 will only allow you to use the machine on a stand. It will not sit on the table. So that's something uh, to think about. Now I'm going to start with the similarities. And for the most part, they're both very, very similar functionality. Um, the, exa the exact same similarities are, first of all, the great table. This turntable is the exact same. That's why there's no table here, because it's the same table. I can take this off, put it on the MS200, and it will be the exact same table. They both have the same great clamping system. The both, both have come with the same uh, fixed clamps. The T92 uh, single action fixed clamps. Or you can also get it with the flying clamps, which I don't have here, but that's an option. They both have the same five point direct racket supports. Uh, that prevent your racket from warping or cha or bending during stringing. Both great is the exact same. They both have the same concord option. Allows you to string, uh, pull the main strings in the middle without the racket handle touching the tension head. It's both the same, no difference. They both have the same Table lock, they both have the same table lock. No difference, This has, it's the same function. No difference at all. They both have the same tension head. Or I should say, not tension, but the same string gripper. It's the same string gripper here. Uh, they both work very well in terms of clamping the string. Like this, they both work very well in clamping the string without the string slipping and without the string damaging. It's the exact same tension head, uh, t uh, I'm saying clamping, uh, string gripper. It's the same string gripper for, for this one and for the MS200, it's the same, no difference. And they both have the same constant tension pull. Now, for those of you that don't know what constant tension pull is, it's, they're not lockout machines. When it pulls a string, when the string reaches the desired tension, it does not stop pulling unlike a lockout machine, like a manual crank machine. It continues to pull the string so that while you're stringing, they both pick up the slack. So you can get a pretty good stiffness with a fairly low tension setting. And it's both the same. They both have the same function. So in the end, when it comes down to which strings the racket better, which will give you a better stringing job? And the answer is, they're both the same. They both will string the racket the same. So you shouldn't worry about, you know, which is gives you a better stringing job when choosing a machine. They're both the same. Okay, so if they're both the same, why are there two machines? Well, there's basically three major differences between the machines. Okay, number one, the amount of space they take. Now, the ML100 or the ML100, if you both put them on the stand, or the ML120 comes with a stand, they both take up the same amount of floor space the ML100, you know, you put it on a table, the table still takes up floor space. So that's the same. However, when you operate the tension head, the ML100, ML120, they both require a lot more space. And that's because 
it's got this long tension rod sticking out. So you need to have enough space for the tension rod to operate. In other words, you cannot have a wall or you cannot put a computer here or you cannot put anything over here because the tension rod must be able to move up and down. You cannot have anything up, up here. And now this tension rod is about a 57 centimeters long. So it does take up a lot of space. So you have to make sure all of this space is clear before you start to operate the machine. So if you have like a really small house or a small room to put it in, then perhaps maybe this machine is not the best. Because with the MS200, there's nothing sticking out of the tension head. So when you operate the tension head, you see how it moves up and down. It's really compact. It doesn't take up any extra space. So you can actually move this machine up onto the wall. You can have a wall here. You can have a bookshelf. You can have a computer. You can have boxes stacked up here. And you can still string the racket. So the MS200 takes up less space. That is one advantage. Another, another thing you have to think about is how the tension head is operated. Now because this is a, a drop weight machine, you need to, you must use one hand to operate the tension head while the other hand rotates the, rotates the racket, pulls the string, does all your work. Whereas with the MS200, you always have two hands free. Why? Because it's a foot operated machine as you're stepping on the tension mechanism Your feet will operate the tension head while your both hands are free. So me personally, I enjoy using the MS200 a lot more Than the drop weight machine because my two hands are always free So if you're gonna be stringing a lot of rackets This does make a difference to be able to use your feet to operate the tension head while having your ha both hands free to manipulate the racket, pull the string. So that's an advantage of the MS200. Now some people ask me, obviously the tension heads operate on a different principle. ML100, ML120 uses a drop weight mechanism, whereas the MS200 has this big fat spring, it extends from the tension head down to the foot pedal. So one is spring, is operated by spring, the other one is operated with a weight. Which is better? Which is more accurate? Which is more durable? Which is more reliable? And the answer, from my experience, they're both the same. They're both just as reliable, just as durable. You don't have to worry about the drop weight breaking um, or the hinge breaking, you know, as, as it moves up and down. It moves up and down on a hinge. The MS200 is a big fat spring. Yes, it stretches. Yes, it, it contracts as it pulls. But the MS200 is a machine that's designed mostly for shops, people that string a lot of rackets. And some shops have been using this machine for over 30 years. String every day, multiple rackets a day, maybe 10 rackets a day or more. And there's never been a single case where the spring has broken, stretched to the point where it cannot be used or stretched at all. I mean, the, the tension setting pretty much stays the same over the years as you use it. Kind of think of it like the springs in your car. How when you drive, the, the spring compresses and, and contracts and, and stretches, you know, thousands of times a minute. And when was the last time the spring was the weak part of a car? I mean, the, Pretty much everything else will break before the spring and that's basically the same as in the MS200. So I wouldn't worry about durability, I wouldn't worry about accuracy, they're both the same. And So what it basically boils down to is how much space do you have? 
if you have enough space for the ML100, ML120, it's fine. It's a cheaper machine. You save a little bit of money, so maybe that's better. If you like the idea of using both your hands as you're operating the foot pedal, the MS200 can be a more efficient mach machine to use because you always have your hands open. And the good thing about the ML100 is that if you buy the ML100, this tabletop model, and, you've got a, and you buy the stand separately, you have the option of putting ML100 on top of a stand, just like the ML120, or taking it off the stand, putting it on a table, and using it on a table. Maybe if you want to take it somewhere, and, and you don't want to take the stand, you can take the machine. Whereas with the MS200, you need the stand to work the machine. If you take this machine anywhere, you have to take the entire thing. You have to carry it. You cannot take it apart like this. You must take the stand with the machine. So that's another something to think about. And the MS200 is the most expensive machine. So obviously if cost is a factor, then maybe you would rather consider the ML100 or ML120. And finally, the last big difference between the two is that the drop weight machine the ML100, ML120 is much easier to adjust the tension in smaller increments than the MS200. Now let's get into this. Now the drop weight, when you adjust the tension, is very simple. You just move it up and down the tension rod. So the, the more you move it to the top of the rod, the higher the tension gets. So, let's say if you're stringing a tennis racket and you set it at, at 40. Okay, so right now this, uh, the drop weight is calibrated, is set right around 40 pounds. As the bottom of this uh, drop weight is aligned with the memory on the bottom, about 40 pounds. Okay, so let's say that you want to set the tension at 40.5 pounds. You just move the drop weight a little bit and it's very easy to get more or less 40.5 40 pounds. Okay, so there we go. That's about roughly 40.5 pounds. Okay, what if you want to do 40.25 pounds, like 40, 40 and a quarter pounds? You just move the drop weight just a little bit. And that's more or less 40 and a quarter pounds. Now you might ask, well, when you're stringing a tennis racket, do you really need to do that? And most of the time, maybe not. But if you take off the tennis weight, as such, Suppose you're stringing a badminton racket and when you take off the, the, the big weight and you only leave the small weight, then you can use the top memory. So over here, I guess I can show you here. Over here, it's set right around 18 pounds. So as you can see, there's a big amount of difference between 17 and 18. So you can really manipulate it. So say this is 17. Okay, this is 17 17.1, 17.2, 17.3, 17.4, 17.5, 17.6, 17.7. I mean, you can really make it in really small increments. Anywhere along here, 17.9 more or less 
So if, if you really have really specific tension settings that you wanna that you wanna do, then the strap weight is much better. Whereas opposed to here, if you look here on the MS200, the tension memory settings, again, they're so close together. Eto. Here we go. That it's really hard to get the small increments. See, as I move this along, right now this is set along the bottom memory. So as I move this along, it's really hard to get really small increments as the tension scale is so close together. So when you're on the when you're using the bottom memory for the most part. I mean, you can do whole numbers, you know, whole numbers, you know, like this is a 51, 52, 53, 54. But again, it's really hard to get anything in between. Now, if you, if you change to the, the upper scale, yeah, you can get a little bit more. A little bit more. Let's change to the upper scale. There we go. We change to the upper scale. Here we go. 30, 32, 34. It's about 34, more or less. So, yeah, you can go 30. 5, 36, 37, 38, this is 39, yeah, if, if you want to say do like 39.5, yeah, this is about 39.5, maybe you could say this is 39.8 or something, but again, it's, it's really hard to get super, super small increments as on the drop weight machine. So that's something that, if you care about that, then it would be better to get a drop weight machine, the ML100 or ML120, for small increments. So that's basically the only difference between these two machines. Okay, so if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Write in the comments, and I hope you enjoyed this video.